for DJ! Final episode today. We're finishing off the season. Season 2, D4 DJ All Mix. I have enjoyed this season. Um, it's not like it's been, you know, there's been anything really crazy happening. Um, it's not like it's, it's necessarily blown me away at any times, but I have found it to be consistently enjoyable. I adore these characters and I will continue to adore these characters. I think if there's one thing that, like, I guess Bushy Road uh, do with stuff like this and stuff like Bang Dream is the characters are so great and iconic. Like, they, they nail that side of things no matter what they do. So, because of that, pretty much any episode of their show regardless of like the plot and the songs and everything else in it is going to be somewhat enjoyable just because of the characters so i'm very excited to get into this final episode um i wonder if they're going to do like a big performance with everyone or if they're just going to do like a i don't know like a lyrical lily performance i don't know i have no, i i have i'm gonna have no expectations and just let them do whatever they need to do but i imagine there will be some sort of performance the episode i also saw is called a bright future which is giving me shades of my hero academia so uh, i hope it's not <laughs> as as uh, as sad um but regardless we're getting into the final episode of d4 dj if you enjoyed these reactions watching these d4 dj reactions with me thank you for joining me for them i mean it's a series that i was doing on this channel not because i thought the videos would be popular that people would watch them uh, but purely because I love D4 DJ and when I started this channel There were some shows that I wanted to do reactions to on this channel Just because I just because I like them not because of how popular or not popular they are So uh, I hope you enjoyed these reactions because it was chosen purely out of love So if you uh, enjoyed my reactions in total and you want to stick around with me then you can subscribe to my channel and make sure that if there's any other videos that pop up that you also enjoy, um, you can you can watch them and you can know about them immediately and it would really, really help me out. So anyway, let's get into this final episode of D4DJ. My Patreon account has full length if you want to go over there and watch that. Here we go, D4DJ episode 12. Ah, oh, this was a good song. <laughs> She's dreaming about it. Cute. Whoa! Did Santa leave her a gift? Oh, this is in Africa. Aww. Inky's parents? Oh, shells? <laughs> Aww, it's so cute. It's huge! <laughs> Aww, that's cute. They're getting pre presents from her parents. That's great. A bright future. Aww. Oh, they're gonna get a big turnout. <laughs> so determined. Oh my god. Is she doing squats with the shell on her? <laughs> <laughs> what? How? <laughs> what? Really? Just let her play it at the very end of a song. Just <laughs> that's it. Well, this is all great, dude, but let me just relax. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. You guys can say no to Rinku as well. <laughs> I know she's excited about it, but she's excited about everything. Oh my god, what? <laughs> I love how excited. Okay, this is why she does it. This is why you do anything for Rinku, because those eyes, she gets such sparkly eyes when she's excited. It's amazing. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
そういうの気にせず突っ込んできてきっかけ回してった人にそう言われてもね。ロンドは新しいステージに進めた。OK。ロンドはもっと素敵なステージに進みたい。アウィ is very cool。The way Ali delivers her lines, she's very cool. I was trying to see if anyone didn't have their hand up, but I guess not. <laughs> Moral corruption. <laughs> It's hard to fit everyone there. You gotta trade out. Just be cycling through. Okay. I'm <laughs> I love seeing her get so excited. It makes me tear up. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, are they gonna choose Kyoko? I'd want Kyoko or Esada from my personal preference. Ah, uh, yeah. That's interesting and cute. That's a nice thing to think about. This is very nice. So, is it going to be all the faces of each band, like the obvious characters we'd assume? Because Rinku and Kyoko so far are very safe choices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kyoko said Shinobi. Aww. Okay, gotta be Rika. Sorry, the rest of Mermaid, but it's gotta be Rika. <laughs> yes, Rika's the perfect woman. <laughs> Wow, the smoothie is a spiral as well? Have they planned this out? <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> okay. I imagine it's gonna be, uh... What's her name? Yeah, it's gotta be Saki. So I think it's just all the faces of the band, all the people we know, the main characters, quote unquote, of the band. <laughs> She's so cute. Of course they do. <laughs> Okay, so Tsubaki here or Aoi in with Rondo? I think it's gonna be Tsubaki. <laughs> yeah. That's the most sensible thing. I think this is the closest thing to it not being the face of the band, because I would consider Aoi the face of the band. The group, unit. Yeah. Tsubaki's the one who would be able to make like a solo career. <laughs> of course. Of course. That's classic. <laughs> She's just excited for it to happen, I think. Not to be in it. Oh, cool. That's cool. That's a good idea. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Aww. 
<laughs> it's so cute that they're all indulging her. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Everyone's so excited. Yay! Happy New Year! Delightful party. Ooh. Oh, this is cute. Oh, they're all there somewhere. <laughs> oh, this is great. This sounds like Jack the Jackson 5. <laughs> this is very cute. I always think I wonder how weird Tsubaki feels during songs like this. Because it's so different from her style. Ooh. Yeah, rap bit! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is very cute, this song. Wow, the cool little holograms. <laughs> wow. That was awesome. That's one of my favorite of the season. Oh my god. Hello, new unit. I think I've seen bits of the new units on social media, but I haven't seen them much. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm pretty sad it's over. Oh, look at them all. That's so cute. Aww. Well, that brings an end to D4DJ Season 2. Wow. What a great season. Like, just in terms of making me happy. <laughs> These shows just make me very happy. And that last little sequence of just everyone saying goodbye to each other, it really feels like when you, you know, you end something special, you end a big project. Like, I've been in... Uh, several like plays and musicals and stuff in my life. I haven't done it for many years um, Because I mostly did it while I was at high school, but a little bit after high school um, but in in those times I mean you spend so much time with these people Rehearsing and putting something together and then doing the performances and there's something so like there's something very Intimate about performing with someone on stage a bunch, you know, like you you feel like you have a connection with that person if you are uh, performing with them a bunch and so um and so yeah when the everything comes to an end and you're all saying goodbye i mean it's it's a crazy moment it's it's insane like it's it's really sad but it's also so satisfying that you know you've done that part of your life and i mean there's also a relief to it that like the stresses of it, it it's it's over and you did a good job but overall i mean it's often a very bittersweet feeling and uh and i just think that was i was getting that feeling while looking at those little screenshots of them all saying goodbye because they were all saying goodbye with a huge smiles on their face but there was there's you know that they're just gonna be so like they're gonna miss it so much um I, I liked that this episode started with the Rinku getting the shell thing. I mean, that's one of the cutest things. Her getting a present from Santa. It's a big shell. Uh, we cut to her parents who were like, I hope she likes it. Um, and she's so excited about it that she's like, can I use it in the concert? Maho stresses for a couple days trying to figure out how the hell they're going to get a shell into a concert. She gives her a good solution and then everyone... Like, they just give Rinku a little solo of her standing up there and playing, what was it? Was it like Jingle Bells or something? I couldn't remember. It was a, you know, a, a you know, classic generic song, but I forgot what she was playing. Um, but playing a song um, with just the shell noises on a little, uh, it's not a loop pedal, what's it called? Like a little uh, soundboard type thing. Um, 
And I just think it's so cute because everyone's just standing there watching her. The crowd are just like really indulging her and excited for her. And she gets a huge cheer for it. She's happier than ever because she's excited. She was excited about the shell and she's brought happiness to everyone with the shell. It's so cute because it's so innocent and sweet and everyone's on board with it. You know, uh, I, I just love it because both Rinku and Saki are both characters that when they are happy, it's the best feeling in the world. Like they, and they're happy often, but it's just like the, their character designs and their voice actresses and everything about them just screams that they are uh, like, that they deserve happiness and, and everyone's on board. It's so great. I love it. Um, so, uh, the song was very good. I really enjoyed the song. And I like, you know, they chose all the kind of faces of the band, as I said. Um, so, like, it's basically like if you were to load up the D4DJ game, whoever's on the title screen, that's the, these characters here, you know? Um, I, I think... Yeah, you could say either Subaki or uh, Aoi are like the face of Rondo, but um, but obviously Subaki is sort of the the more uh, overt face, whereas Aoi is kind of the unit's heart and leader, but leader doesn't necessarily mean the the face of the band. So um, so yeah, it's it, it was pretty obvious who was going to be on stage for that entire thing and they basically spent the entire episode justifying that. <laughs> um, I would have liked if they instead spent less time justifying it and like put in two songs or something because something I really liked in uh, in the first season was it ending with like three songs back to back or whatever. But obviously they can't do six songs back to- I mean they could- if they just dedicated the entire episode to a concert, they could just go to every single unit and uh, and get them all to have a- have a little song, but um, but you know, that's- I'm sure that's a lot of work. They have to come up with a bunch of original songs and choreography for them and animate all of that. I'm sure it takes a lot when they could uh, do an episode full of them talking <laughs> to each other quite easily so I can't blame them too much but anyway great season uh, of like just cuteness in, in terms like I'm when I say great season I guess I'm not talking about like the story of the season because like I would say the story is okay it was it's it served its purpose um, there wasn't there weren't any episodes that I thought were oh, actually I would say the Maho Halloween like scary episode was actually so unique and interesting that, like, maybe that is, like, kind of a standout. Uh, and, I mean, there were there were episodes that I really enjoyed the story of, like, the one where they're, where Photon Maiden are trying to discover, like, like, we're not cool, but we're cute. I really, really enjoyed that stuff. But, um, but overall, you know, there wasn't anything special to what was happening in the story. I think if they do future seasons of D4DJ, I think I would probably like it to to just be more of a more of a story going on but uh i don't know like i i wouldn't mind if there was like a uh they did like a tournament arc you know and they obviously they'd have to choose a band that or a unit that wins right but uh but yeah it's <laughs> but it, like i know that's that's probably kind of difficult but they did it in season one i mean peaky peaky defeated happy around in season one and that was great. And also, I feel like Peaky Peaky earned it. Like, I watched those performances and I was like, I was rooting for Happy Around, but Peaky Peaky is absolute, so they played absolute in that in that thing. I was like, that's an incredible performance. It's one of the best Peaky Peaky's ever done. They deserve to win. It's amazing. But yeah, anyway, that's D4DJ. Thank you for joining me for this series. Please make sure to subscribe so that you can see other reactions that I do on this channel. If there's anything uh, D4DJ in the future, I possibly might uh, bring it back to this channel. Uh, so stick around in case of that. Please make sure to like the video, comment down below. And uh, my Patreon account has full length early access and exclusive videos. So you can go check that out as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.